Welcome back to chapter four of our Amazonian Cheap Pick Weekend. This is a Goso set. I found this again on Amazon. And what's interesting is that in the picture that all of the different manufacturers use, uh, there's a defective pick here. It's actually melted away from the handle. And yet they still chose that to represent their product. Anyway, there's a bunch of different manufacturers. I got mine from Ed Ching. They do say Goso in the title of this one. A 9-in-1 padlock picks door lock opener locksmith tool. Uh, and they call it the Goso Premier Pick Set. Well, let's take a look at how Premier this thing is. What do you get? Well, you get a little Z-wrench, and that's the only tension wrench uh, you're going to get in this kit. Uh, but they didn't count it. You get nine picks. And what's interesting is that there's a lot of duplicates. For example, these first two picks are duplicates. And let me show you something odd about this kit. Uh, if you take a look at the handle, they, they're shaped identically. you got the same number of grooves. But if you take a look at that logo, you'll notice they're quite different. And so I picked it up and did a little closer look. And this one is very stiff, hard plastic. And the rest of this kit is a very flexible, almost like bubblegum flexible. But it doesn't really make a lot of difference, but I just thought it was odd uh, that you'd get that. Anyway, those two picks are identical. These two are identical. You get one deep hook. Now, let's take a look at this for a minute. Um, deep hook, these are all 26 thousandths of an inch thick. They are all punched picks, which means they're rounded on one side, and then the punch machine left a sharp side, a sharp edge on the other side that you'll have to take off so you don't cut yourself when you use these. Uh, the, most of these are the f really flexy plastic, and you got a lot of flashing. If I can get it to focus, a lot of flashing you're going to have to take off. It's not a big deal, and these, unlike the other Goso kit, don't have, leave a very sharp edge right there, so they're at least finished a little bit better. The other thing you notice is that when they put these together, they didn't really pay attention to the orientation of the handles. They just drop the picks in the mold and mold it around them. So you got a very solid attachment. They don't go back very far. The metal only extends into the handles about this far, so the transfer of feel really is not very good in these. And the way I know that is I've melted some of these. Um, anyway, you have to take the flashing off, and they're not oriented in terms of ergonomics. So by feel, they're not all... For example, pick pointing up when that curve is on the back part of your hand. Some of them, like this one, are the opposite. So you can't just throw them into your hand by feel. Uh, anyway, you get those hooks. You get one index hook with a notch in the top of it. If you like this type of pick, you've got it. But you won't have it very long because these are probably the absolute softest metal I've seen so far they will bend. You drop them on the ground, they will bend. Anyway, you get this rake, whatever you want to call that thing. I thought that was a car tool. You get uh, a quasi half diamond. It's the most poorly shaped half diamond I think I've ever seen. These go so didn't spend a lot of time. When you manufacture and you use a punch machine, it's easier to use those gentle angles. It's easier on the machine. So that's probably why they do that. And then you get this dimple rake. It will not fit into a normal keyway, but it will fit into a, some dimple lock. So it's kind of neat to have. Again, it's very... Oh, damn it. Didn't mean to break it. I was just trying to bend it. But anyway, they are very, very delicate. I have to say this is a $9 kit. I think I paid yeah, $8.99. Got free shipping on Prime. But $1 picks are not quality tools. I hope I've driven that home. We've gone through four chapters of this so far. $1 picks are not worth wasting your money on. I urge you, do not buy this kit. Don't even think about buying it as a training kit. It, it will be an wa absolute waste of your money. You may as well just throw your money on the street and give it away for all the use you're going to get out of this, quali this low quality of a, of a pick set. Anyway, fellas, thanks for your time. Stay safe. Um, by the way, I'm not giving this one away either. I'll find some creative way to send it on its way. Thanks, guys. Stay safe. Stay legal.